Hello everyone, welcome back to a brand new video and to start this one off, before we get deep into it, I have got a very quick review of a clothing brand to do with you all. I have had the most gorgeous delivery, which I can't wait to share with you all. It's officially autumn here on the Riviera. Now I always say that my favourite month since living here is September. It is just perfection. The weather is the perfect temperature. It's still hot, but not unbearable. You've got the beautiful autumn sun. It's just always been my favorite. But this year, it's definitely felt more like October this month. That's for sure. It's been cooler. There's been a lot more rain and the autumn winter clothing pieces are definitely creeping into my wardrobe and into my everyday life. But that's fine. I've got a gorgeous delivery to share with you all from a brand called Goelia, who reached out to me to see if I'd like to try and review a few of their clothing pieces. Now, I'd seen this brand prior to them reaching out. I'd seen them across social media. They look very stylish, elegant, um, French chic, you know, all the things I love, very classic, timeless pieces. So of course, I couldn't wait to try them out and share them with you. So I'll show you what I got, starting with this item here. I will show you these items being worn as well so you get the full look and feel in different lights. And we can talk about sizing as well. So just look at this, it's a beautiful 100% silk caramel blouse just look at the detail on this blouse it's exquisite look at the neck detail now I wore this with a couple of buttons open I just wanted to dress it up at first that's what I was leaning towards but you could wear this in so many ways definitely tucked in I would say I would always wear it tucked in bloused over a little bit now I went for a size medium in every piece of clothing that I ordered because I am a UK 10 usually, and the clothing is pretty true to size, I would say. The medium online was showing UK 10, so that's what I went for. Now this blouse, if anything, is a very neat fit. So you could definitely size up in this because, like I say, I took these in and blouse them over, so it's not gonna hurt to have a little extra room in there, a little extra material. It's very neat on the sleeves, if anything. So if you have got long arms, maybe think about sizing up as well. But I just loved this. I thought it was so elegant. I love the detailing on the sleeves, the little pin tuck at the back, the quality definitely doesn't disappoint. Oh, next piece, guys, is a stunner, an absolute stunner. I don't think you can go wrong with a classic beige trench. And this one is beautiful. It's wool on the outside and polyester on the lining, I believe. And I just love the color. It feels ultimate quality. It's a generous size. Definitely could get a jumper under there. It's a nice length. I've had a beige trench in the past and they literally get worn until they're dead with me because you can wear them in so many ways. You can pop this over a nice dressy outfit if you're heading out for the evening and you can also wear it with jeans and trainers. It's just so versatile. I love the belt. You can really cinch it in at the waist and it's just a really quality, gorgeous, wardrobe essential, I think. Okay, next guys, is this beautiful striped vest that I've got here. Now it's slightly long line. I popped it on with some denim shorts and a black long sleeve top underneath. And it just really elevated the outfit. But I'd love to see this with a nice crisp white shirt underneath, just to add a little bit of extra. I think it's beautiful, it's black, it's got the cream stripe there with the gold thread running through it, which isn't too overpowering. It's just nice and subtle, but just adds a little bit more glamour. And it's got the gold buttons on the pockets here. Next, guys, I've actually not got anything like this 
in my wardrobe, which is why I ordered it when I saw it on the website. It is a fine knitted dress. It's a nice stretchy snug fit. I popped a belt around the waist with this one and I wore it with some little flat ballet shoes. It's lovely, it's sleeveless. Again, this would look gorgeous with a crisp white shirt underneath just to add a little bit of something extra, like an extra look. You could wear it with boots, with flats. And then what I loved about this piece is that it's actually a two piece, which is perfect for the transitional weather here. So this is like a little cardigan shrug kind of piece that you just pop over your shoulders, you pop it through your arms there and it turns it into kind of a long sleeved dress instead of a sleeveless dress. It's exactly the same material. Again, gorgeous quality, beautiful wool and it's just so lovely, easy wearing. It's a very Chanel, Audrey Hepburn vibe dress and I love it. It's a thick, nice black tweed and it's got a little bit of a silvery, glitzy thread running through it, but nothing too overpowering. It's got this gorgeous neck detail here and the buttons are just so beautiful. Now I popped this on with a mid heel, but I'd also wear this with some nice little black ballet pumps if I wanted to pop it on for more of a daytime look. This is quite roomy. I must say I could have sized down in this one, especially around the waist, and it might be because of the deep pockets here. I would like it a little bit more cinched in. So if you are in love with this dress like me, I would maybe recommend sizing down, especially if you're in between sizes. But I think it's just absolutely beautiful. Again, a timeless piece, and it just felt so special, like occasion wear. But then again, also daytime over the festive period if you wanna pop it on with flats. And last but not least, guys, is this half zip sweater, which I am wearing, which is just so clean and classic. I have got it on with jeans today, and I've paired it with a little black t-shirt underneath there. Now, the stripe is actually black. I know it does look navy in some certain lights, and it's got a very, very fine, glitzy thread running through it again, but so subtle that you can barely see it. And it just feels gorgeous. I'm so happy with the quality of the pieces. I feel like everything that I picked is just as I imagined it to be on the website. If you have seen the brand and you're wondering, that's my review. I will leave everything linked individually down in the description box below, along with discount codes, which I did manage to get for you. Now I got a couple, you can't overlap them unfortunately, but you can choose which one's best for you if you do want to shop the pieces. I've just had a little bit of an outfit switch up because I thought, mm, am I gonna be too hot in jeans? So I've kept the jumper on, but popped a little skirt and trainers on because I thought it might be quite nice to have a walk into the city today, guys. I need to go and pick some books up that I ordered. Oh my God, it's actually spitting with rain. I can't keep up with this transitional weather. Honestly, I've just stepped outside and I saw rain. I thought, oh, it must have been a very small little shower and now I can feel spitting. It's spitting. What am I gonna do? I just don't know what to wear when it's like this. I thought I'd got it right. Anyway, I'm gonna ignore the rain, guys. So I've just locked up and I'm ready to go. But yeah, I thought it might be nice to show you the city at this time of year. We're very, very close to October now. We're like days off October. And yeah, I need to go and pick an order up. I haven't even looked in the shops yet since all the autumn fashion has been sneaking in because I've been so caught up in the renovation. But I'm quite looking forward to a browse. The kids are at school, rise at work. Let's go check out Cannes in almost October. I'm going to be taking the beach route today, guys. I always find it so much more uplifting walking along the beach 
Ryan loves to train here most days. I actually came for a walk along here last night and there's still people swimming in the sea. And it makes me want to do it because as a lot of you all know, I've really got into the cold water dips last year, but since the renovations and moving, I just haven't done it. So I would love to get into going in the sea at every time of year. Um, I just need to find actually, like order or if I see one out today I'll grab it more of an appropriate swim costume because all my swimwear is like bikinis and like fashion swimwear and when I'm swimming in the sea at this time of year I feel a bit silly in like a summery uh, bikini so I could do with getting like a more sporty swim costume because I'm just dying to get in there and get used to that cold water again it's so good for you um, but yeah, we're going to be taking the beach route. Look at that, the sun's out now. It is starting to look very autumnal in Cannes. You can see people wearing long sleeve tops, jackets, but still shorts, and still some people have got vests and t-shirts on, so it's a real mix in this transitional weather at the moment. I'm just walking up towards the old town now, near the Suquette, which is my favorite part of Cannes. It's just that rustic, beautiful classic vibe i didn't go deep into the old town streets today but i will take you there another time It's time for a browse on the high street, starting off with one of my favourite high street stores, which is Mango. Love this pea green drapey blouse. It reminds me of when I used to work at Next years ago in fashion retail, and I used to wear these blouses with the necktie for uniform. Love them. I'm noticing the style at the moment is quite tailored and smart, but with a bit of an 80s drapey vibe which I love there wasn't anything that like massively caught my eye today but I do love to keep up with the trends and have a browse I've always preferred mango to Zara although they're very similar in style and price but mango just tops it for me it feels a little bit better quality and less mass produced in my opinion So as you can see, the streets of Cannes are still very busy, lots of people out and about shopping, although it's a huge change from summer. July and August, it's probably 
four times this busy. It is just, yeah, so hot and we're heading over here to Oi Show on the corner, another one of my favourite high street shops. It sells the most beautiful, everyday active wear, sports wear. I loved this tracksuit, a pinstripe tracksuit in like an off-white cream colour so the bottoms are 50 and the zip up jacket is also 50 and I'm very very tempted to try it on because I just love clean pieces easy wearing throw on for every day but then I see it on the mannequin and I'm not so keen what do you think it looks a bit I don't know a bit uniformy uh, I don't know and then there was this cream gilet with the boucle material which was another nice piece yeah, this shop is my guilty pleasure, if I'm honest. I could literally walk out with so much stuff because one thing about Oisho is I do wear it over and over again. It is very, very practical. But what I will say is Halara is very similar and a fraction of the price. Heading over to another guilty pleasure store, which is a French pharmacy i love a french pharmacy i love browsing the supplements and all the skincare products i love this brand as well it's called solga and i'm out of vitamin c guys oh that one is foie de more i think that's how you pronounce it and i think it is cod liver oil but i do take cod liver in a tin you can actually buy it in a tin here in france just like where you'll find your mackerel and your tuna and i have a little bit of that like on its own or it's probably best to have it on like a dry cracker or something i really don't mind the taste but i take it for the health benefits and i stocked up on some bits and bobs which i'll show you when we get home it was then time to have a quick browse in zara because how can i not it is just one of those shops that I have to go in for a look. I don't actually buy much from Zara anymore, but I do get bits for the kids from here. Um, nothing actually caught my eye. There was one piece, which I'll show you in a moment. It's like a green, chunky, knitted vest with gold buttons. That was probably the best piece that I saw in the ladies' wear today. Here it is, look. I love that. Not enough to purchase it, but I really like it. Nice clean white shirt underneath, or just a long sleeve top, or even a polo neck jumper. It is a nice piece. Um, but then I head downstairs to have a quick browse around the kids section. Now, Nancy is just at that age where I can't buy surprises for her anymore with clothes. She's very much got her own style. I have to run things past her before I get anything. We're over the dress up days, unfortunately, but I did love, look at these ditzy print pink jeans. Oh, just beautiful. I love them again, very 90s vibe, I think. And also this little knitted set. Look at that Harlequin jumper and skirt. I would definitely pick those pieces up if she would wear what I said these days but another lovely piece is this croissant top long sleeved thick croissant top was very nice and yes I had a browse around the boys section I don't forget about my boy although we've got to be honest boys clothes just aren't as exciting as girls unfortunately and then guys it was time to have a look in this funky homeware store now i think i've brought you in here on a previous video it's called bathroom graffiti and it's on the high street in Cannes, and it just sells really funky quirky designer pieces i always love having a browse in here i bought the dogs bowls from here previously and i've had some other little knickknacks and bits and bobs and I just love it it's so different
Now I don't have small children anymore but I just love these plastic plates and cups. They're amazing, I love the print, I really want them, look how cute are they. They're like a really good quality plastic though, they feel like they would last ages. And look at the little cups to match, I'm obsessed. was a very good walk into the city come back with a little bit of a sweat on I love a good power walk something I love about living in the centre or close to the centre so far is that we very rarely need to take the car off the drive obviously Ryan does because he goes to work every day but me I only take it for like a big food shop and me and Ryan alternate Nancy's school run, which is a 10 to 15 minute drive. But Seth's at school in the city, so we don't need the car for his school. Um, I just seem to walk so much more for everything that I need. And I just think it makes such a big difference to your life and the amount of exercise you do. I just want to walk everywhere. And you don't even feel like you're on like a, an exercise walk, you know, because there's so much to see all the time. So it's great. Um, I picked up some new supplements because I love to alternate my supplements. At the moment, I am taking... I love this brand as well, by the way. It's called Solga. I think it's a French brand, and it just doesn't have any, like, added rubbish. No added, like, seed oils or anything like that. Preservatives, it is just what it says on the jar. So I've been taking the calcium, magnesium and zinc for a little while and then I also got some selenium to take with that because I watched one of Dr. Eric Berg's videos on YouTube. I love watching his videos for health tips and he recommended taking magnesium with selenium. I can't remember the exact reasons but when I was watching I was like, okay I need to go and get that. So. I'll try and leave the video that I watched linked down below in the description box. Um, I also take a few other bits. I take like a turmeric with black pepper. Um, and today I picked up, because I usually always take a high strength vitamin C and I've been run out for quite a while. So I just picked up a thousand milligram vitamin C, but this one's with rose hip. Not had that before, I like to try something new. I just love to switch it up from time to time. And I can never like take everything that you need because you'd be taking like 100 capsules a day like Brian Johnson, which is just a no-go. But I also got some garlic as well. And even though I do have quite a lot of garlic in my diet, Brian Johnson takes it. So I love just taking these snippets of health advice from various people and just incorporating what I can and just going on how you feel. So that's my little supplement purchase today. And then I went to a shop called FNAC. FNAC, FNAC, 
and it's like a homeware electrical shop here in France. Really popular, stocks like everything from TVs, gaming, phones, books, stationery. It's got all sorts and you can order books through them as well. I've ordered some for the kids in the past and there was one that I needed for my French class, guys. So I had to order that as well. Which is this one, A1 Beginners. But it's the correct one because I ordered the wrong one at first, which was really annoying. I ordered one off Amazon, which looked identical, but it actually came and it ended up being the teacher's version. So my teacher was like, nope wrong um and that's my little day in the life autumn on the riviera i hope you enjoyed coming along for this little catch-up midweek vlog loved having a quick browse in the shops as well don't feel like i've done that for ages didn't see much burgundy i thought i'd see loads because apparently it's the color of the season so i thought the shops would you know, have loads of it in, but I didn't really see any. Not sure I will be jumping on the burgundy trend because it's not generally a colour that I reach for. I find it quite colour draining on me. I think it suits dark people much better. Dark hair, dark skin, it's not a colour for me really. Although I did get a couple of burgundy pieces from Halara not too long ago, which I have been wearing. But yeah, anyway, no burgundy. Um, I did pop into Oisho as well, which is a shop that's, I love it. I love it for every day. Fitness wear and just day-to-day -day active clothing. But that again is very similar to Halara, but more pricey. Um, but yeah, it was really nice. I hope you enjoyed coming along for a little autumn browse. I've loved having a midweek catch up with you all. Please remember to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you all on Sunday for my next video, which will be more house updates, I think, guys. See you all then. Mwah.